My name's Adam Short and welcome to the UK Coastal Track. Well, it appears that I have found yet another Ministry of Defence firing range. Uh, the flag's not flying at the moment, so as long as I get through to the end of this tonight and don't camp in the middle of it like I did last time, it should be okay. I can't hear any machine guns, which means the British Army won't shoot at me today. Right, well, um, this morning the sun was out and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. But as you can see behind me, the har has started rolling in. The har is Scottish for mist or fog. And uh, I've got to admit, I can't see more than 200 feet ahead, 200 feet ahead of me, so it's um, going to be interesting. Right, it would appear that I have lost my head torch somewhere. Uh, it must have fallen out of my bag at some point and well I'm not going back to look for it. Anyway, I've come across this cave and there's another one just around the corner. So what I'm about to do now, please do not do at home because exploring caves without torch and the right equipment can be extremely dangerous. Okay, well, we are in the second lot of caves now, um, and I found a little tunnel, and it is really, really small, really, really tight, but I think I would be able to fit through there, but I'm not going in there without a head torch because um, you never know what you're going to find on the other side, so, um, although I hate to say it, I ain't going in this time. Well, it's a shame about that little tunnel, but um, you got to think about your safety. Uh, we're in the second part of the uh, bigger cave, and uh, there's a couple more little places we might be able to explore, so we'll uh, have a little look. Well, we're down one of those tunnels and uh, it goes a little bit deeper but I've had a little scout round with the assistive light of the phone and uh, it doesn't go much further so it's not really worth trying to, trying to get to the footage down there but um, it would have been interesting to see what was down the other tunnel we found. It did look like it opened up. When somebody lose something. One of the points of the trek is to teach people about wild edible plants uh, and you'll see from my uh, Facebook post that uh, occasionally I put trek wild food on. But this is heather. Now what you can do is you can take the petals off the flowers, uh, dry them out in the sun and they make a rather good tea. If you like this video why not share it with your friends? <laughs> 